Welcome to the weekly dose of Amuna for Shabbat Kodesh. Today we're going to talk about the seven jewels that enable us to be able to experience and enrich our Shabbat experience. There are seven different, um, I would say, spiritual tools that if we have the ability to understand them, contemplate them, think about them, then we are going to be able to actually feel a higher level of Shabbat Kodesh if we can really pay attention to these facets of Shabbat. So let's go through, uh, through them one by one with just a brief explanation. The first one means making Shabbat a day of rest. In other words, if we can enable ourselves to enter in some sort of a space that we understand that on Shabbat we are essentially attaching ourselves to Hashem's presence, that is how we are able to make the day of Shabbat a restful day for us, being attached to Hashem. Number two, we also have to understand that there's a sign between us and um, Hashem Yidbarach. There is a union that is essentially happens every Shabbat where we are becoming attached to Hashem. So it's very important that every Shabbat we understand and we remember that there is that eternal covenant between us and Hashem in which we are able to attach ourselves to Hashem. Number three, on the seventh day, as we cease ourselves from engaging in mundane activity as written by the holy sages and dictated uh, the instructions of keeping Shabbat, we need to understand that through that we are able to receive that e- the additional soul, the Shabbat Ve'nefash, that extra soul, and we are able to experience a higher love connection to Hashem. Number four, when we make the seventh day uh, a day of rest, that the seventh day becomes a day of relaxation because we had prepared all the beautiful, delectable, you know, wonderful items, uh, the meals, all of it with the intention of celebrating this amazing day with Hashem and it becomes a day of celebration. So the meals essentially help us to be able to attach ourselves with spiritual delight, physical delight, and essentially make it a special day. Number five, Um, the seventh day actually alludes to the crown, the kingship of Hashem. And so when we talk about the seventh day, we should actually feel that we're attaching ourselves to that, the idea of Hashem being our king. Number six, on the the, uh, seventh day on Shabbat, we become holier. There's a state of holiness that happens to us on Shabbat that we are enveloped in in Shabbat that brings us to a, a sense of a feeling that there's a tremendous difference in the way that we interact with Hashem during the week as opposed to Shabbat Kodesh. So that holiness essentially separates that seven day from the rest of the, of the uh, mundane week. And number seven, finally, the, the last part of understanding the precious Shabbat jewels, so to speak, is Hashem said to Moshe Rabbeinu, I have this precious gift among all of my hidden treasures, and Shabbat is its name. So go inform, go inform them. And the word for inform actually is lahodiam, from the word dat. Dat refers to a level of intellectual bonding that comes from the heart. It, it, it alludes to a state of a union, of a connectedness, where the knowledge is actually now um, massaging the heart and allows us to attach ourselves to Hashem. And so as a result of us knowing that it's a special hidden gift, a special treasure in Hashem's box, so to speak, we're able to unite ourselves. That knowledge enables us to feel a connectedness so that Hashem is basically telling us this is a special day, hold strong to it. So Be'ezrat Hashem, if we become aware of all these tools, we'll be able to experience Shabbat Kodesh in a very unique way, in a more close-filled way, a more heartfelt way. Be'ezrat Hashem, we should hopefully see the change and, and remember these tools and Be'ezrat Hashem, really cherish them like precious jewels. Have a great Shabbat.